Welcome everyone. In this short video, we will be discussing uh, project alternative selection uh, using financial and uh, non-financial models. First, uh, a short definition for a project which is a set of temporary, unique and uh, progressive tasks uh, that can produce uh, a result. Uh, this can be a unique product or a service uh, or other uh, results. Project tasks are uh, usually constrained with uh, different uh, limitations such as cost uh, and time and uh, quality and other requirements. So it's important to understand uh, the constrained environment in which uh, projects are often planned. For uh, Project selection uh, models, it's important to understand that uh, different models may result in uh, different uh, outcomes. And uh, at the end of the day, people make decisions, not models. Uh, what uh, models can uh, provide us at the best uh, uh, is a partial representation of the reality, what decision making uh, uh, should be done uh, with uh, uh, careful consideration of uh, these facts. There are two types of project selection models, financial models and uh, non-financial models. In this video, on their financial models, we will talk about payback period, uh, return on investment and net present value. On the non-financial side, uh, we will be um, discussing checklist models and uh, multi-weighted models. Here is an example. Uh, we want to uh, purchase a machine, um, for example, an excavator for our earth moving project. There are two options available, machine A and B. And uh, the initial investment uh, is uh, given. Uh, and uh, we also have uh, the benefits or profits uh, in the first to fifth uh, year of uh, uh, the project. So if our uh, decision making is uh, solely based on uh, a smaller uh, capital cost or initial investment, machine B becomes uh, the alternative of choice. But there are uh, more uh, uh, comprehensive models uh, that we can use, uh, one of which is uh, looking at payback period. And uh, here is an example, uh, a project uh, with a cost of uh, $100,000 has uh, an annual net cash flow of uh, $25,000. So the payback period uh, will be four years. So payback period is calculated as the ratio of investment to annual uh, net uh, earnings. Using uh, that uh, equation for payback period, machine A uh, will have uh, a payback period of two years and machine B uh, uh, has a payback uh, period of approximately three years. So using that model, machine A is now the alternative of choice, which was different uh, to uh, the previous uh, conclusion uh, that we made based on uh, a smaller initial investment or capital cost. Another model that we can uh, consider using uh, will be a return on investment or in short ROI. Um, what uh, we have in here uh, is a, a comparison uh, between the two machines. As you can see, machine A uh, has uh, uh, an average annual profit uh, calculated. So $60,000 is the sum uh, of uh, the profits that we receive over the course of five years, minus uh, the initial investment of 35,000, then divided by the uh, five-year uh, period of analysis gives us average annual profit of $5,000. When we divide these, by uh, the initial investment, ROI for machine A is 14%. In 
In the same fashion, uh, machine B has uh, an ROI of 16% and based on uh, return on investment, machine B becomes an alternative of choice. The most uh, comprehensive uh, financial model that we want to discuss in this video will be a net present value or in short uh, NPV. The concept is very simple. This is the projection of uh, uh, current uh, dollar value into future or projection of a future value into present. An example has been given in here when the intended uh, rate of return is 5%, uh, the value uh, for $100 today will be $105 next year. It shows that um, uh, the current uh, value of money is always more um, uh, than uh, uh, its equal in the future. In the same fashion, we can do the back projection and uh, divide $110 in the first year by um, uh, discount rate of 1.05 and it gives us the present value of uh, uh, 104.76. We will be discussing uh, the calculation of discount rate uh, shortly. So if you are considering a discount rate uh, for one year only, present value of A, uh, which is a dollar value, uh, is the product of A and uh, uh, 1 divided by uh, 1 plus uh, intended rate of uh, return. Uh, the discount uh, by n years has been uh, given uh, in uh, the blue font on the bottom of this slide, and uh, the i in that equation equals intended uh, rate of uh, return, uh, or uh, the interest rate, or the inflation rate, or the sum of the two if both are uh, relevant to our example. We can uh, apply that uh, formula on our uh, example for machine A. Um, in year zero, uh, the discount rate using the formula is equal to one uh, because in the denominator of the equation, uh, n is equal to zero. So uh, the discount factor becomes uh, one for uh, the current time or year zero. For year one, 0.95, and uh, when we go uh, further, um, uh, the discount uh, factor changes for year five, for example, it is 0.78. So present value uh, is uh, the product of um, dollar value and the discount factor for every year it has been calculated. The total net present value is the sum of the present values we have in the right-hand column of the table. For machine A, it is $18,460. Same uh, calculations can be done for machine B, and uh, uh, the net uh, present uh, value of uh, $18,330 has been calculated. Based on NPV, uh, machine A has a larger uh, net present value and therefore is the alternative of choice. Again, using different uh, financial uh, analysis can result in uh, uh, different results. It remains the responsibility of the decision maker to uh, uh, have the best informed uh, decision. That concludes uh, the discussion on financial models and now we can um, uh, have a summary of non-financial models. The most uh, simple uh, form that we can use um, is checklist, and it has a list of uh, questions or important criteria that is uh, critical to our uh, case. Uh, there are some disadvantages uh, uh, because in this uh, method we cannot uh, consider the relative uh, importance uh, and uh, it's a very simple uh, uh, preliminary analysis. Here uh, is a checklist example, and uh, for different uh, criteria such as risk and success metrics and uh, schedule and uh, uh, technology, we have uh, critical questions and we can uh, consider those to uh, make a go or no-go decision for a project. 
Another non-financial model, which is uh, uh, probably superior to checklist, is motivated uh, scoring. Uh, on the top of this table, we have a list of criteria. Uh, first is uh, staying within the core competencies of the organization, uh, a strategic fit, urgency, and others. For each uh, uh, criteria, a weight has been assigned. For example, a strategic fit has a weight of three and the urgency has a weight of two, uh, so on and so forth for other uh, criteria. For each uh, project, we consider a score uh, under each uh, criteria. Project one, um, uh, for example, has uh, a score of one under the first criteria, but in terms of a strategic fit, uh, it gets a very high score of eight, but in terms of urgency, a score of two is allocated to project one. And these values and also the weights are based on expert ideas and they uh, can be assumed uh, on a case-based uh, uh, basis. So at the end, uh, we can uh, calculate the total score for each uh, project alternative. For project one, uh, as an example, uh, the weighted total value is 66, and we can see that project five has um, a significantly higher value of 102. So we can uh, give the priority uh, to higher uh, weighted total for different project alternatives. So uh, there are advantages and disadvantages for these uh, scoring uh, uh, models. Uh, the most important disadvantage is that these are uh, strictly uh, relative uh, measures and uh, they are to some extent uh, subjective. Uh, when uh, we have a, a large project, there is tendency to include many criteria and then uh, the process of decision making uh, can become uh, very complicated. To recap, uh, we discussed uh, different uh, financial and non-financial models for uh, uh, alternative project selections and uh, we discussed uh, the procedures involved in each of them. Thank you very much for your attention and uh, I look forward to having our uh, future interactions about um, project management.